Oh no, here we go. Another beast build the fucking big M60. <laughs> Fuck, god damn. I kind of slipped up. There's another beast M14 outing. It's actually mediocre run of the mill, but I do finish the top of the team. And I'm using my M14. And there's a couple things I want to talk about lately. And a lot of people want to, uh, basically be here we talk about the ancient astronaut theories again and one reason I stopped talking about ancient astronauts was mainly because of the show ancient aliens um, after I started talking about it and then the show ancient aliens came out and it's like man if I could talk about anything here people are gonna think I'm just repeating stuff that ancient aliens said and at this point that would be true and I know a lot of people don't watch ancient aliens though so I guess I can kind of repeat kind of repeat stuff and one of the things that always always confused me is why ancient people would build structures without mortar <clears throat> for people that don't know or underage usually brick buildings like a brick house or a, like an office building that you'll see in town that's not that's made of brick obviously they have this thing called mortar which holds the bricks together that's that white stuff in between the bricks and what this does is it creates a perfect seal, holds the bricks together, makes it very, you know, weather tight, and all that other great stuff. Ancient buildings, such as Machu Picchu, you know, the Egyptians, they built, they built it with, they built their buildings with stone without mortar, and that's for super heavy rocks. Like um, they cut them perfectly so they would fit like a puzzle, and the weight of the rock itself would seal it perfectly to the point where nothing can get through and you're like man why would you go the extra route to do this and that makes me think of Jericho for people that don't know Jericho is a city in Israel that was said to have been destroyed by horns and what that means is obviously even today we cannot make sound waves high enough to destroy brick we generally can't make sound waves to the point where they will levitate small balls but what we possibly could do if we tried hard enough is make sound waves strong enough to destroy mortar and my opinion that could have been what happened at Jericho for those who don't know the story of Jericho is um, I think Joshua had like seven guys in the Ark of the Covenant and he walked around the city of Jericho for a week and on the last day of the week he walked around and he blew the horn and the horn brung down the walls of Jericho and the armies were allowed to go through and sack and sack the city of Jericho. Um, the horns could be subsonic weapons. I mean, dead serious, like, why wouldn't that be a subsonic weapon? Why could, if, what, the Ark of the Covenant was said to hold the Ten Commandments, but it's never proven that it held the Ten Commandments. Why couldn't that be alien technology? You know, like a, like a power supply or some kind of amplifier like you see the now of the days. Instead of, you know, Ark of the Covenant, that shit rocks like JVC, bitch, you know, just rocking out with the sound wave shit. Yeah, but the fact is, why didn't it attack the mortar of the walls in Jericho? It would, back then would have been mud. The mortar would have been mud. And and that would have brung the walls down with, you know, ultra, ultrasonic sound waves. And there's all kinds of there's all kinds of theories that you have. Like um, there's the theory of like the Great Pyramids of Giza actually is a factory that makes something because the burial chamber didn't have anybody in it. It's lined up so it has port vents, just like a factory. I mean, could it could it be used to make gold? Could it be used to make you know process hydrogen? What could it have been used for? I mean. Who knows? Why is there always, even to back date, almost every culture has like a man alien hybrid when we today can splice animals together? Like, um, shoot, what's something that look that we could probably splice together? I, we've done it, but they don't really go and put TV, th TV shows on it all. I know that sounds like a conspiracy theorist kind of thing, and I try to avoid doing that. But the Chimera, you have the Loch Ness Monsters, you have Sea Monsters, you have the Krakens, all these things. You have the Megalodon, well, Megalodon was actually a dinosaur. But, um, I've kind of do this on the fly of the whim. But you have all these things that are sewed up in Egypt. You have the Dog Head, you have the Sphinx, you have Quetzalcoatl, which was a myth with the Aztecs, but he was part human, part bird, made of lightning. 
um, why couldn't these be alien experiments? Almost every almost every race of people or even tribes sitting in Africa have the astronaut guy. Like um, people wearing astronaut suits or draw hieroglyphics of astronaut suits. And it, 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 it makes you... I'm going to say it like this. There is full... There's billions and billions of stars in the Milky Way galaxy alone. Upon those billions and billions of stars, they could each have planets or planetary alignments. That would make there being billions and billions of planets in the Milky Way galaxy alone. Milky Way is one galaxy of a billion galaxies. Plus, that's uncountable for the human unseen eye. So, for me, it makes me more feasible that aliens brung us up in their likeness than a deity that nobody can prove. Does that make sense? Because if you think about it, if we go to another planet and we find another planet and we're able to get there or traverse to that planet and they're basically Neanderthals, the what would we do? We would build them in our likeness. We would give them our technology in small doses. We would see how they used it. We would use them as guinea pigs. And we would like, look over them like a kid looks over a rat running through a maze. So yo to the Neanderthals. Let me see. I am here by the sun. I'm free. Born on an Neanderthal, the baron of my seed. I'm born on an Neanderthal, choked down by greed.